My name is Prasanna Kankanala, and I'm the director for R&D at uh, Trace Genomics. If you've seen our talk title, it has changed a little bit from you know some of the media, uh, uh, the title that we've put out before. We have changed it very consciously because Trace Genomics has developed the best and the most comprehensive soil biology-based data insights. And what we're able to do today with this is our customers are able to place the right product on the right acre, which is leading to an increased win rate on the farm, generating profits for all the stakeholders. And thus, you know, Truly, this trace soil-based data analytics is enhancing the profitability uh, on the farm. In the next few minutes, I hope to convey how we are achieving this. But before that, you know, just a little bit about trace genomics. Um, founded in 2015 in the Silicon Valley, we moved to the heart of the agricultural land here, right now situated just north of here in Ames, Iowa. And if you think about soil, input management and farming, traditionally we've been relying on the soil chemistry, on the soil physical structure, the texture or the yield maps, that kind of data. But for the past eight to nine years, Trace has pioneered in the soil biology and integrating it with the other data layers to bring the best in class actionable insights on the farm. And at the core of this is what we call as the metagenomics technology. Now, if you think about soil biology, it's all the microbes, right? Less than one to 2% of the microbes on this planet have ever been sequenced. We know who they are and what they do. The rest of the 98 to 99% is the dark matter. Now, technologies like amplicon sequencing um, and some of these other technologies look into that 1% to 2%, tell you what's in there, and estimate the functions. Technology like metagenomics not only looks into that known microbiome, but into that dark matter, into that 99% of the dark matter. We don't know who they are, but we can tell you what they do. And that is how Trace Genomics comes up with, the, has developed the technology with this unmatched accuracy. Now this whole biology field is kind of new to agriculture, and I'm sure everyone here agrees. There is no gold standard out in the market. Truly, the standards come from academia. So we got ourselves reviewed with academia. Dr. Adina Howe at Iowa State had looked through our whole process and given us the feedback that we either meet or exceed the current industry standards. We have also worked with USDA, and USDA AFAS PPQ department now issues regulatory permits for presence and prevalence of microbes based on trace technology. And for this, USDA requires 99% accuracy. If the false rates are more than 1%, they won't issue. They have reviewed our pipeline and they agree that you know we meet their standards because with metagenome technology, not only we can identify the microbe to the genus level, but we can go to the species level with very high accuracy. Why is that important? Why do I need to know what species in there? Let's say, for example, you're talking about gray leaf spot in corn caused by Cercosporaziomedes. If you look in the soil, there's going to be a lot of Cercospora at the genus level. Not all of it is going to be a threat to the corn. Zeomedus species is the only one that's going to be a threat to the corn. Technologies like metagenome are the ones that can, uh, that can identify to the species level at that accuracy. So um, jumping into our technology itself, Trace Complete, I call it our flagship product. Here is one test that can help you unlock the potential of the soil to make that agronomic decisions. On one hand is nutrient management, where you can place all your different kinds of products in the phosphorus space, nitrogen, micros, macros, soil amendments, biostimulants, biologicals, the wide array of products. On the other hand is the pathogen management. Again, the one same test where we identify over 250 pathogens that maps to all crops, row crops, specialty crops, all the crops. And what this is enabling us is our customers to make those uh, informed decisions. Here is a snapshot of what a seed solutions guide look like based on pathogens, completely customizable based on your interest of crop, based on the diseases that are relevant to you. But it, you, know, you can pick and choose the top six of them, but then here you'll also see all the other diseases we measure. All of them benchmarked to high, medium, and low regionally um, 
now what this is enabling again our customers to do is to make those decisions on the right kind of germplasms, this hybrids, the C treatments, customize the C treatments, but also our customers are able to order fungicide ahead of the season, going into the season. This technology has been around with us for quite some time, and here are just a couple case studies out of the exhaustive list that we can share with you uh, later. But one instance in corn and one instance in soybean were based exclusively based on trace report when one of our customers switched to an anthracnose resistant corn, there was a 32 yield bushel increase. They did not want to believe anthracnose was a problem, but it was very, very clear in our data that you know there is a problem. So they worked with us and they'd seen a response. Similarly with soybean, soybean is limited. Again, this customer who used our report to make those decisions 10 bushels per acre increase uh, for their soybean. So that's a snapshot into our pathogen management. I'm going to switch gears into nutrient management. This is one of my favorites, Trace FOSS. I call this truly as the groundbreaking technology for phosphorus management. Now, if you think about any fertilizer, phosphorus or nitrogen, the moment you put its chemistry, you put it into the soil, there is soil chemistry, there is soil physical properties, there is soil biology. All of them are working in unison at the same time to determine the fate of this phosphorus. For the first time ever, Trace has integrated all these components to bring out this technology that can now help you understand what's going to happen to that fertilizer that you put into the soil, that phosphorus. Is it going to be plant available? Is it going to get tied up in the soil? Is it going to run away into the waterways? Is it going to leach out? Now, is your field good for a build strategy, a maintain strategy, or a drawdown strategy? With this particular tool, you can place a wide array of products, whether chemicals, biologicals, to unlock the tied up phosphorus and to make it plant available. Uh, this technology has been around for around maybe three years, three to four years. And again, here is an instance. Uh, we can give you a huge list, but a few of instances here. Uh, one of our customers was able to increase the sales of their product from 10K to 250K in just one year. And mind you, it's not just increasing their sales. Their customers, the growers, have seen a benefit, an ROI, a yield increase when they made these decisions based on their nutrient decisions based on trace fats. Again, you'll see uh, a couple other examples listed out there. Another customer who had 40% year-over-year -year -year increase in the phosphorus management uh, tools, uh, products. And really new to us, very fresh, 8 to 10 weeks old as Trace N report that we uh, surfaced out. Now, again, for the first time ever, we're bringing a report that can help you understand what's going to happen to that nitrogen fertilizer based on the form that you're going to put in there. You will see that the first three processes there are that's going to lead to loss of nitrogen based on the form of nitrogen that you're going to put in there, and a couple others is nitrogen gain in that soil. Let's say you're growing soybean. I mean, do you really want to put inoculum in there? You're in a, you know, Brady rhizobium. Do you want to put it in there? peas and lentils, do you want to put rhizobium leguminosa arum there? For alfalfa, mesorhizobium. So similarly, uh, free-living nitrogen fixes, do you want to put it in there? What is the potential? So here is a tool that can now help you understand that whole nitrogen process in the soil. So um, in addition to these three uh, reports, I'd actually like to take a couple minutes to spend on this particular uh, web portal. We have a web portal that provides the best analytical platform for product placement. The field discovery tool that we have on this web portal now helps our farmer, uh, now helps our customer pick the farms that's conducive to a particular product. Here is a case study where with one test, we had this customer placed 23 different products in three different crops over three years knowing for the first time that their product is going to work, demonstrating to their customer that there's a win rate for them, and gaining that customer trust and confidence. So this is, this is a technology that Trace brings forward to its customers. And today here at this show, we are offering a show special trial. Feel free to stop by our booth 212 uh, in case you would like to know more about this. Um, again, 
you'll also see those arrows that you can trace around. You can find the, the trace team and the steel sheds we are around. We'll be more than happy to answer the questions uh, if you have any. Again, thank you for your attention. Yeah.